Hey guys, this is RJ with The Variant. And if you're watching this right now, uh, this is the mid-season finale of uh, Action Figure Fridays. Because uh, all the fancy shows have a mid-season finale. <laughs> like, when did that really become a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, back in the day, they just had a season of a show. And yeah. it was just on. And uh, now you have to have, like, a mid-season finale. And then a mid-season premiere. And then a season finale and a season premiere. And all this stuff. And... Sorry, but we're going to conform to it. It's required by the FCC or something. I don't know. We're not, uh, I don't know. We're just lucky we don't get pinged for our opening and closing music. So, <laughs> shrug it. Um, anyway, as always, the lovely and talented Charlie Rocket Cosplay is here. And she's going to uh, give us her expert opinion on all things action figures. Yay! Uh, same as me. And, uh, this week we are doing uh, some Deadpool figures. Uh, I've got my nice Deadpool themed shirt, Ooh. which you guys haven't seen in five episodes. Wow. And uh, yeah, we are building a uh, Build-A-Figure Strong Guy. So would you like to take it away? Sure. Charlie? Oh, I'm gonna start, start with uh, Black Tom Cassidy. Black Tom. <laughs> Everything black. All black everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here we go. Black Tom. Here he is. He's got some uh, cool I'm a pirate um, <laughs> boots and gloves on. Alright, so Black Tom Cassidy is a Bronze Age villain. He was usually a juggernaut's uh, partner in crime. So like, uh, he's also Banshee's cousin. So that's why, you know, the name Cassidy. And he's also the only action figure I've seen that comes with a shillelagh. Like, he's gonna club you with that shillelagh. Yeah. <laughs> and I just love saying shillelagh. <laughs> like, it's, just, it's got like a little skull on the top. Yeah, he's gonna smack you upside your shillelagh loving head. Boop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a vampire neckline here with this collar. <laughs> Um, but pretty basic figure. He's got rock out action a little bit. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And his toes point, but outside of that, everything else is just kind of basic movement. He's got a cool uh, Robin Hood beard from Men in Tights. Goatee. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, but yeah, other than that, he's pretty cool. He's you know pretty basic. Just black and red all over, and a stick. Yeah. But um, he comes with the build of figures back, I believe this is. It looks like a back, yeah. Yeah. Tom Cassidy. Black Tom Cassidy. Ha ha. All right. It looks like he says that. I'm gonna go with Marvel's Maverick, Ooh. not to be uh, confused with Top Gun's Maverick. <laughs> and, uh, Know, Marvel's Goose figure that was also coming out this year. So, <laughs> um, now we see playing the Beverly Brothers and having Leo come out and sing. Right. Uh, Alright, so Maverick was a kind of a staple from uh, the 90s Wolverine comics where he was just like another dude from uh, Weapon X that uh, got screwed over by Weapon X and then we all got screwed over when they changed it and made it Weapon 10 because it wasn't an X, it was a Roman numeral 10. Uh, honestly, I don't remember what Maverick's uh, powers are. Oh, he absorbs energy blasts. It's like, kind of like Cable or like Bishop, I guess. He absorbs energy and blasts it back at people. Um, he's also got guns. I, I kind of dig these guns. Like, these aren't like your typical guns. These actually look like, you know, some cool 90s guns without being like too overly obnoxious and large and too space age that it doesn't look like a real gun. Like, I don't know if that's a real gun, but it, it could be. Um, he also has a holster. He can only fit one of these, and it's not this one. Uh, it's definitely the other one. 
so we'll just jam that in there. Uh, so yeah, and, and anytime you have like a holster, I love that. Um, a holster for a machine pistol, even cooler. Um, all right, so one thing I will say about these Marvel Legends, they, all right, so, okay, the hand. So like the hand was a little wonky and I tried to move it earlier and it didn't really move. So I didn't know if he just had like, I'm gonna hold my gun like this yeah. hand or what, but it actually moved now. I guess it just got warmed up or something in my lap. Uh, <laughs> This is a pretty detailed figure. Uh, he's got like a lot of cybernetics and robotics. He's got some, he's got like a backpack with some hoses that go in the back of his head. He's got a gas mask for his uh, COVID Trump rallies. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's, I don't know if he's a Trump supporter, sorry. <laughs> um, but he's got like a lot of, uh, detailed like robot parts so like anything that looks metal i don't know if he's got robot legs but you know like if those are just like some robot pants or legs like yeah. are they full cyborg legs i don't know um usually when like a guy has like stuff like that like colossus it's because he's made of metal i'm pretty sure this guy isn't so you know those are some heavy boots like if he's wearing some yeah. metal boots or maybe they're just like styled like that I don't know if they're actually metal or not uh, the gold on him is kind of super shiny um, not translucent but like that metallic shine um, he's got like that little 90s pompadour hair yeah. and like the gambit thing on his face kind of with a face mask um, I would say, all in all, a pretty accurate Maverick figure. Um, he has guest starred in Deadpool books before, which I guess is why he's with this Deadpool line. Um, they're definitely going after a lot of no 90s nostalgia uh, lately with, you know, Age of Apocalypse figures, Maverick figures, uh, stuff like that, and a couple others that we'll talk about in a while. He comes with a strong guy arm for our strong guy builder. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, my next person, I have War Pass, Marvel's War Pass. Let's see here. All right, he comes with the builder figure play. There we go. And this guy is cute. So. He's got some really big shoulder pads on that have like tassels. He's got the feather in his hair, a little red paint on his eyes. He's pretty all right. Like this is, he's a big dude, first of all. He is a lot bigger than this guy here. Um, he is quite a big muscly dude. He's got a lot of tassels. Uh, let me see here. I was trying to see if the tassels were separate from the boot, but it looks like they might be glued on there. So that's good. Um, Cause I hate when they slide down. Oh, one of his shoulder pads came off because they're attached with a peg. Oh. Ah, so they just like flip right off. Oh, oh. But he's pretty cool. He's got the belt that moves. It's not attached, um, but it's not gonna go anywhere really. Um, off of his waist and he's got oh he's got good rock out action and pointy feet um, but again everything else basically the same as any other figure movement wise What's the, the feather is that a feather in his hair yeah so is it's it? attached to his hair so it's just decoration yeah that Native American look yes if you want to look indigenous that's, that's what they do, they put a feather in. All right. So, I don't know. Uh, Warpath, um, while he is like super strong and almost invulnerable, uh, one thing that I'm blatantly seeing missing from this are some knives. 
So anything, um, yeah. I believe Storm gave him some. Uh, what's the stuff they make in Wakanda? Vibranium. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Storm gave him some vibranium knives because at the time Storm was uh, married to the Black Panther. I almost said Black Widow. Um, <laughs> she was married to Black Panther, and uh, you know, obviously, she could just take vibranium whenever she wanted to. Yeah. And, uh, and she gave, here. you know, she gave a couple knives to to Warpath, and uh, he doesn't come with those. No. Which that's pretty much like his shtick. Like he's got, uh, you know, some awesome muscles, and he's a badass, and he's got some knives, so he'll just like cut you up. Well, on the box, they're advertising his major punches I no. guess like it's just showing him punching a yeah, lot. Yeah it's just a giant fist. So he fist. has yeah two fist hands but he also comes with two hands that look like they would hold something um, but he doesn't have anything to hold. Uh, but yeah all in all he's a pretty good You know maybe another Warpath. figure down the line they'll be like hey let's just throw some knives in here that can go with Warpath. Yeah. I mean we've seen them do that with heads. Why not? Like come on Hasbro throw us some Warpath knives. Give us you some know, knives. You know you can. We love knives. Come on. Everybody loves knives. So. Um, Alright I'm gonna follow up on some more X-Force uh, with another X-Force which is Marvel's Sunspot. Sunspot uh, is one of the original Renault mutants, Roberto da Costa. Uh, he is from Brazil. He's super rich, and he has the power of absorbing the sun into himself. And then he gets like super strength, and he can do like sun blasts or something. Oh. Um, he comes with strong guy's body. Um, also, again, new mutants. Uh, you know, he started in New Mutants, he moved up to X-Force. Um, where's our New Mutants movie? Like, I know it came out in the movies, but I want to see it. Somewhere that I can not die. Yeah. Shrug. Um, he comes with the little, uh, little magic-y things. That, uh, all the guys with blasty powers and mental powers come with. So, like, if you can see that. And they're all black. Um, I will say he also has, like, some black bubble tea on his back. Um, this is a... I would say this is a good figure. It's a little basic. So, um, but but again, it's, it's 90s X-Force, so it's going to be kind of basic. He's just got, like, regular bodysuit. The different colors are painted. There's no texture to them. There's a little bit of texture on his muscles. Um, he's got these wristbands that literally just, they stay in place because they're the actual size of his wrists. So they're not going anywhere. Um, his boots have some sculpted uh, little designs on them. Um, the mask is kind of sculpted in, like you can see like a ridge at the bottom. Um, and then he's also got like little tassels in the back and then bubble tea. Um, he is definitely in his, you know, sunspot form. He doesn't come with an extra head for, you know, regular New Mutants Roberto da Costa action. But that's cool because, again, this is uh, an X-Force figure. Um, it rounds out your X-Force ranks and, uh, and looks good doing so. So, uh, yeah, X-Force. Yay! The next one I have is Shikla. Shikla. Uh, Shikla. 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 When I saw her, I definitely thought she was like. That is also a relatively easy cosplay you could probably do. Yeah. I mean, this body paint would be just like my Maj and Android 21. So Shikla is uh, Deadpool's wife. She is the queen of the monsters. Uh, I didn't know the monsters had a queen, but they uh, they the apparently monsters. did, and um, and Shikla was it, and she married uh, Deadpool. She um, comes with an extra arm. And then I think she screwed him over, and like I don't know where she is now. Like they just disappeared her. First and foremost, let me say she comes with this shark that has legs. Oh, that's Jeff the Land Shark. I love him. I want him. Like in real life, so I just want this 
legged shark to be my friend. Jeff the land shark is a uh, Gwenpool's shark, and uh, she couldn't keep him because she was uh, joining the West Coast Avengers or whatever. And so she gave uh, Jeff the land shark to Deadpool to take care of, and that's why she's. And that's he why comes I with I uh, Deadpool's ex-wife. It's amazing. Um, this chick is everything. <laughs> everything um she's all pink with some purple over her eyes she's got a cool necklace that moves around a cool belt that kind of moves around her little flappy cape is fabric and it looks cool she's got an awesome donk oh yeah they don't do Always got um, the awesome donk. they don't do a lot of like fabric on these figures no they don't it's it's, it's kind of rare good but that's good I think. um her hair looks nice she's got a cool skull with some bat wings back there. I feel like she's in a rock band. Um, and she's my friend. <laughs> she also, you know what? All this purple part of her bodysuit has like a print to it. It almost looks like if it was lace, but oh, yeah. the pattern was maybe some skulls or something. Is it, does it go around to her back too? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Oh, oh gosh. So they it just stops halfway. I definitely stops. thought it was in the back. That's it still stops cool. stops halfway. But it looks really awesome. I think it looks cool. I never see any kind of patterns like that on these figures. No. And she has extremely high heels on um, for an action figure. I never see them with heels this high. So because of that, she's not pointing her toe, but she's more so making her foot go backwards on the Right. <laughs> but um, yeah, she seems awesome. She has slight rock out action. Her hair is in the back, so she can't do but so much head movement. But she's really awesome. I really like her. The detail is is a lot. It's there. If you want to see more of Shikla, check out her OnlyFans. Right. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> um, and she's got glowing, piercing golden eyes. Oh yeah. Wow. And just a sneer. She looked like... like she's she like, I took the land shark in the divorce and I'm going to take everything else of yours, Deadpool. She's like, hey guys, I'm headed to the Kiss concert. Oh Bye. yeah. Wanna rock and roll all night? Party every day. See ya. <laughs> I love her. She cool. came with a shark, so I I'm mean happy. Jeff the Land Shark. Mm -hmm. Alright, so no Deadpool build a figure line would be complete without a Deadpool. Uh, this is blue Deadpool. And uh, I don't remember the point of blue Deadpool, like I know that there was like a bunch of different colored Deadpools. Deadpool comes with Strong Guy's head. And it's a teeny tiny head, because Strong Guy, as big as he is, has a teeny tiny head. Uh, he also comes with um, a rifle and a gun and some swords. Sounds right. Um, this is a pretty, pretty standard Deadpool figure. Uh, he's got like the little harness. Uh, this one actually has uh, sword holsters in the back, or sword scabbards. What are they? I don't know. I don't know. Neither. Um, yeah, I get that in there. So he's got some sword scabbards in the back. He's got a belt. He's got his little Deadpool insignia on it. He also has an X Men insignia. So maybe this is like it's blue and yellow. So I would say maybe this is like X Men training Deadpool. Or X Men. Didn't we have an X Men training Deadpool? He was yes. like in the actual <laughs> X Men costume. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, again, I don't remember what the Deadpool blue and yellow costume was. Um, he's got this yellow neckerchief, so he's got like, I don't know, some Fat Life stuff going on. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's, he's a cool figure, though. He's a cool Deadpool figure. It'll look cool with the rest of your Deadpool figures. Um, again, if you're going to have a Deadpool wave, you got to have a Deadpool figure. And uh, they gave us a different one. I think there maybe was another blue one that was like an exclusive for like Marvel's loot crates or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he's 
the, one of the problems I have with these are the the lack of realistic guns. Like Maverick came with some relatively realistic guns that could possibly be something, uh, but these look like just straight up laser guns. Right. Like these are just like, yeah, that's just like a straight up laser gun. Uh, he's gonna just shoot himself with it because it's fake. Um, same as this one. Like this looks like one of those guns from the old G.I. Joe cartoons that shoots blue and red lasers. Uh, in fact, now with the new G.I. Joe 6 inch line, you can give this to your G.I. Joes and they'll be car cartoon accurate. I'm trying to get his finger in there, but it's not really fighting. Right, there we go. So yeah, um, basic articulation, uh, the lines and the everything are pretty much painted on. It's basically just like a, a full uh, redo of um, any of the basic figures in the line, uh, but just Deadpool. Um, it's okay. I, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's Deadpool. Yeah. Kind of like I feel about Deadpool. Like, I don't hate him. I don't love him. He's just kind of there. But, uh... Yeah. yeah. Cool. What's better than one Deadpool? Two Deadpools. Two Deadpools. Is that better? I don't okay. Know. So, but this is the pirate one. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to forgive them because, uh, you know, normally we'd be like, hey, you put two, two Wolverines in one line, or hey, you put two Captain Americas, or another Iron Man, or whatever. So two Deadpools in one line. I think we had that before. But it was like Deadpool in his underwear, and regular Deadpool, yeah. and then training Deadpool. And... They were all kind of like garbagey. Like we just didn't really care for them. Like Deadpool in his underwear was kind of funny. But this is pirate Deadpool, which is fabulous. Fabulous. I love it. He's got like a katana type sword, but then he also has a pirate sword, ah. and he also has a gun. He comes with like a musket, basically. All right, sword. And he does have oh, holsters on the side. He has two. So, so I'm the assuming swords. they're for the swords and Gosh. not for this gun. Whoop. And then where's the other sword? Whoop. Aha! I dig it. A vast, me hearties. Arr. Are we going to say a joke about the booty? We have to. <laughs> I mean, can you see his You booty? can't see his, so now we can't make it. Oh. Darn! Okay, he's got his musket and his cool pirate hat. He's got a little, like, does scarf under off? there. It does not. Oh. That's okay. No. We have enough Deadpools without a pirate hat on. A huge, torn up looking pirate cape with the little frillies in the front. He looks amazing. This jacket is wonderful. It's got a lot of details. It's got some sculpted guns in the front. Okay. It looks cool. Adding some more, you know, weapons. Deadpool never has enough weapons, so there we go. And there's a, a very beautiful embroidered DP on his jacket. <laughs> beautiful. Deadpool the pirate R. He points his toes. Everything under the jacket is just red. Just red by itself. Um, let's see here. His arms go out this way and up and down. Yeah. He got to get that workout in. Um, of course, no rock out action. He has way too much stuff on. That would be ridiculous. Then I'd really have to be mad about the ladies not having it because that would make no sense. But um, I think he looks awesome. He looks really cool. I feel like if they did a different style Deadpool like this every time they did a Deadpool wave without doing like the basic Deadpool figures, yeah. I, I would 100% be happy with that. Yeah. Like, I mean, we've then got... I would understand. We've got like six or seven standard Deadpool figures. Like, I know this one's blue, but I mean, it's still standard Deadpool. Yeah. Like, that is, is gold right there. Like... I will say when the swords are all the way in the holsters, then the cape is pushed out like this, which also pushes his head down a little bit. Uh, 
so that kind of sucks. Um, but he can always just have one in his hand and one somewhere else. I don't know. But yeah, it does. I like it. There we go. Yay! I love it. He comes with the other leg, so other leg. we're ready to build the figure. So we are building a strong guy. Uh, if you guys don't know or are not familiar with strong guy, um, he is just this guy named Guido. Um, in the eighties, he was the bodyguard for um, a teleporting mutant named Lila Cheney, and basically she was like a teleporter. But she was also like a rock star, kind of like Dazzler. Yeah. Um, except she went and did concerts like all over the galaxy. Oh. Um, and she had like a band and stuff, and he was the bodyguard. Then in the 90s, they decided to actually do something with him. And uh, they made him a part of X Factor uh, when they did like a reboot of X Factor. So, you know, the original X Factor was like the original X Men. It was like Mar uh, Marvel Girl and Cyclops and uh, uh, Beast and Iceman yeah. and uh, all those guys. Did I just put that guy together? Um, and then the second iteration of X Factor was like Polaris and Strong Guy and Wolfsbane and Havoc and a couple other people. I can't. Multiple Man mm -hmm. and maybe a couple other people. Um, and they were like government appointed mutants. So they were like, you know, run by the government. Um, so they gave, you know, Guido here a, a job. And since they are now doing like all these uh, 90s X-Men figures, like I think in, uh, you know, we just did the X-Force figures there's some uh, X Factor styled figures that we have not opened yet that we've got at the house, mm -hmm. and uh, some other ones. But yeah, so they're going after that whole '90s nostalgia thing. Um, this is a big, chunky figure. He's definitely a big, good, strong guy figure, uh, and he's got a teeny tiny little head and his <laughs> little glasses. Um, I mean, he's gonna look great with your X Factor setup, and I dig him. Yeah. Yeah, his um, armor on his shoulders and whatnot is like this shiny silver, which really pops and it goes all the way around to his back. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it's the, you know, X-Men colors. He's a really creepy looking guy. He's got some cool goggles that just stick in his eye sockets. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> a little swirly hair. He looks like he just only beats people up like that's all he does yeah i mean that's that's like he doesn't eat, he's he doesn't just sleep. a bouncer he like he's a mutant bouncer that's it um and, and then i think like crazy. later they did something else with him where he like took over hell or something i don't know his body movement is weird yeah like i was looking at that a minute ago like i can't turn his body without like fear of breaking it you can't turn so it so i'm just not even gonna mess it. with that like yeah. i'm just gonna leave it hmm. and be done with it uh, yeah, <laughs> strong guy. You got anything you got to plug? You can find me at Charlie Rocket Cosplay on any social media platform. And you can check us out at www.the-variant.com, uh, facebook.com slash variant covers, and at the underscore variant underscore on Instagram and Twitter. And you're watching us on YouTube. Click subscribe. We need subscribers. We need people to check us out. And uh, yeah then YouTube gives us money or something. I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, this is, again, the mid-season finale, so we will see you guys in a few months. And, uh, yeah, Jeff the Landshark. Later, guys. <laughs>